Okay, dear students, let us see what is there in this question. The current I flowing in loop A in, in a clockwise direction is increasing so as to induce a current both in the loop B as well as C. All three loops are on the same plane. What is the direction of the induced current in the loop B and the loop C? So we are going to comment on the direction of the induced current in the loop B and in the loop C. So my dear students, it would be using a couple of laws and you must be very good with it. I tell you in this topic, what is more important, more important is these kind of laws for finding the directions because they are never going to ask you what is the induction, what is the current flowing in B or C, what is the magnetic field at various places, but they're only concerned with the directions. So be very particular about how to find the directions. Similar topic was in uh, topic 5.4 also. At that time in my playlist, I have shared a video in which I have taught you all the rules uh, with the help of which you can find the direction of the magnetic field. You can find the direction of the forces on the charges and all the, all those things have been dealt there. But in this topic, we are going to learn about the induction. So the first rule uh, I'm going to tell you is the right hand curl rule. Now, whatever you might call it, screw rule or the right hand screw rule, right hand curl rule, like I'm just keeping my hand like this. So in this kind of laws, what I'm doing in this question, what I'm doing is my fingers are moving in the direction of the current in the ring and my thumb will be pointing towards the magnetic field generated by the ring. So I'm going to apply this, this rule on the loop A. So the current is clockwise. So I'm moving my fingers clockwise with respect to me. It should be clockwise with respect to me. So my thumb is pointing towards you. So my thumb is pointing like this. So it is into the page. So I can clearly see that the current is I and the magnetic field which is created by this current is this. So the magnetic field is into the page and a very important piece of information is that it is increasing. So first of all, I will write magnetic field which is into the page and it is increasing. Okay, I can also write it here. So this is increasing. Now, if this is increasing, magnetic field is increasing. So let us talk about the loop B. Now, loop B will say that, okay, so there is a magnetic field which is into the page and it is increasing its magnitude, but I do not want it to increase. According to Land's law, every loop will try to go against whatever is the change that, that you are bringing in initially. So now the magnetic flux is increased with respect to B. So B will say, no, I do not want that. It means that B's induced current will be in such a way that it will try to go against the increase in the magnetic field. So the magnetic field, which is into the page is increasing. So we want to have a magnetic field, which is out of the page, you see, out of the page. So now my thumb is pointing towards me. So where are my fingers going? My fingers are clearly indicating an anti-clockwise direction. So it means that here, we taking an anti-clockwise direction. This is I dash for the loop B. So definitely loop B will be anti-clockwise like this. Now let us talk about the loop C. So in this loop A, uh, the magnetic field created by loop A, which is actually the initial magnetic field, the source magnetic field due to which all of these things are taking place. So that magnetic field is into the page, but it is into the page only for the points which are, which are inside the loop but for the point which is outside the loop let us say this point or this point or this point if i say there will be a magnetic field which is out of the plane okay because like this is the loop so we know that let us say the magnetic field is going like this so it's like this so it will be going like this so inside it the magnetic field is having opposite direction and outside of it the magnetic field is moving in the other direction here the magnetic field is towards right and here it is towards left so accordingly in the direction of C, for C, we can say that the magnetic field is actually coming out of the page. Be very careful. From the point of view of the loop C, the magnetic field is coming out of the page. So if it is coming out of the page and it is increasing, now C will say, I will not let it increase. So I'm writing it here. The magnetic field is out of the page and it is increasing. So the loop C's induction current, induced current will be in such a way that it will oppose the increase in the magnetic field, which is out of the page. It means that I have to go into this because now the thumb will be pointing inside because 
the magnetic field is out of the page and it, it is increasing. So the loop says that I do not want it to be increased. So it means that loop C will create a magnetic field which will be into the page. Now into the page means that my fingers are going clockwise. So this direction will be for this. I'm just calling it I2, I double dash. So this is the induced current in C, which is clearly in the clockwise direction. And hence, uh, C will be the correct answer. So this is how we do this question, my dear students. And um, let us see what is the answer given in the mark scheme. I believe it will be definitely C. Well, yes, there it is. You can clearly see. Yes, the answer is C. So this is how we do this question. And my dear students, I tell you these laws for finding the directions. It's very, very important, pertinent for you that, yes, you are very expert in this. You're like you have to practice as many questions as possible to find the direction of the magnetic field, find the direction of the current, find the direction of forces. It's really very important because these are the only questions that you are going to get in IB. Okay, my dear students, all the best. Bye.